Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ben Dane and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Bullshit. The show where we give you two news stories, one real and one fake, and you have to decide which one is straight up and which one is bullshit. An Ohio man is facing four counts of public indecency for allegedly having sex with a picnic table. I grabbed him by the kahoolies and gave him a squeeze. We follow and we got clone pups, a sex slave incident, and a three-legged like horse. horse. Gotcha. Now, before we begin, you'll want to make sure that you have your YouTube annotations turned on. This is very important for voting at the end of the video. Now, if you don't know how to do that, go down to the box on the lower right-hand corner of your screen, drag up the scroll menu, and click on Turn on YouTube Annotations. news to show you right now a shot from a jet ranger too if we can take it look at that and look at the people standing around looking at it that is a car wedged up against a power pole location 162nd and division obviously slowing traffic a lot of people standing by uh, trying to figure out exactly what's going on at this point we're not sure if the person inside was injured but uh, look at the situation the car pulled up against it and i can't tell if it's exactly against the power pole or exactly what it's doing but Jet Ranger 2, a very, very good shot. It looks like the power line it's sitting against. 162nd in division. We'll keep an eye on that one and let you know what happened there. Our first story today comes to us from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, where a Paula Wolf is charged with a somewhat unusual crime. Four pedestrians complained to police that Paula threw small objects at them while driving by them in her car. When police pulled Paula over, they found in her car, among other things, a blowgun and a bucket of rocks. Paula admitted to the crime, saying that she just liked hearing people say, ouch. Speaking of projectiles, few are more interesting or humorous than the human variety. Well, this was the case in Paris, Oklahoma, when a Mr. Robert Kane decided to augment the safety system of his Ford pickup truck. Mr. Kane decided to install an ejector seat by modifying the driver's seat of his car to include a large spring just beneath it. Three months later, when faced with an imminent crash situation, Robert Kane prepared to eject but failed to take into account that the roof of his pickup wasn't going anywhere. In addition to suffering minor injuries in the crash, Mr. Kane also suffered a somewhat severe head trauma caused by his failure to launch. <laughs> 